Hi friends. Guess what season it is. I'm so excited. Well, not, not baseball. Why does it show baseball? Why does it show baseball? That's stupid. Let's start this again. We'll play. I can't have you. Um, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't show any logos. But that's what we're watching. I forgot it's football season. It is Sunday. Um, went to church with Jason. And then I came home and ate. And I have learned I cannot eat before going for a walk. I love walking early in the morning. And I didn't get out to walk until afternoon today. And uh, can't do that, man. I need to go first thing in the morning. But I can't go first thing in the morning tomorrow either. So I knew I wanted to like make sure I got a walk in today in case tomorrow is too hot during the day to go. I'm looking for my chapstick and we all know where it is. It's right there. Anyway, so I got my walk in. I only did three miles today because my phone ran out of battery because I was stupid and didn't have it fully charged before I went. And um, usually the walk is the first thing I do for the day so it's fully charged. Lesson learned. Um, anyway, came home. I've been kind of just um, rela relaxing, enjoying Sunday. Um, Ashley's going to go hang out with her friends at their friend, her friend's house. Um, it's hard because like normally we don't do that kind of stuff on Sunday. Let me turn this off for two seconds. Um, but like her friend's parents work and so I offer to have them here or they go to the park or you know whatever often and so um, when they have an opportunity to like host and have the girls come over and play and do something I just kind of feel like Sunday and the weekends are their days to be able to do so and so Ashley's gonna go over there today but I'm trying to find a place to put you guys um, I am trying to look through my sewing stuff to find my seam ripper and everything that I've been touching lately I've wanted to declutter I try and look in the closet for pom-poms I decluttered it yesterday, mildly, mildly. I'll show you the stuff I've gathered up so far. Um, but I took one look at this sewing bucket and I was like, all right, let's just sit down for a second. Looking for the seam ripper to take off the stitching from that project, I, uh, the little coach iron-ons that I have of Ashley's. Hey, Ashley, is that Ash? Chelsea? My children like to ignore me because I can hear the tone of my voice when I need something. Um, it, and uh, they ignore. So anyway, I am on a declutter streak. I'm just wanting to get rid of junk. I'm just, but anyway, I'm gonna take Ashley to her friend's house in about 20, 30 minutes or so. She's just gonna hang out there. They're gonna have a late night. I don't know that the other girl is gonna sleep over. She is, they did offer it as a sleepover, but we don't do sleepovers. But Ashley like is understanding of that and she's like, you know, I don't even know if I can stay till 11. I'm kind of tired today. <laughs> Which is fine because she knows she has a full week of practices ahead of her. Um, so, um, but I'm just, I'm sitting down to watch this game and I feel mildly guilty sitting down and doing nothing and not being, you know, productive or whatever. So I'm trying to find a little project for myself to work on. Um, and unstitching that that cheer bag is a good idea. There you go. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're gonna go and take her, and then I w I'm gonna show you. Um, in well, I've, I've been looking for uh, what do you call it? Chest weight. Um, uh, Ashley has some wrist weights that I tried yesterday and I don't think that they're gonna work for me. Um, but I wanna try a chest weight. So I might sneak over to the store um, and look for that. I also, here, let me just show you a few of these things instead of just sitting there. Um, so yeah, here's the bag in case you don't know. I gotta unstitch that name and put my patch on. This is box, let me make sure that there's no address on there. I don't know where the box came from. So this is box number one of decluttered stuff. Um, kind of going away from like farmhouse. Look, I haven't like totally done it, but I don't know, kind of on a path. Um, then I have that bag of clothes. 
that game and then that whole pile right there so like I said I'm kind of on a on a roll um, in here I kind of took that shelf off the wall right here because I figured if I took it off the wall it'll make me more proactive to get something on the wall but I also want to paint I really really want to paint so um, yeah I figure the more I kind of take apart the house, <laughs> take things off the walls, get them cleaned up, the easier it will be when we actually are able to actually paint. How about we, um, I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. Are you ready to go to her house? Mm -hmm. Do you need to take anything? You can take your iPad if you want, uh, but take I'm your charging cord. Until, like, okay, I'm well you just let me know when you want me to come pick you up. If you get tired, show me your shirt. Kids these days don't care about hanging on to their back to school shirts until back to school. For me, I always wanted it nice and fresh and crispy. No, not her. Okay, go get, um, I don't know, the weather could turn. You might need a sweatshirt. So, brush your teeth, brush your hair, get ready to go. Um, so anyway, we might go look for the chest weight. I might do it tomorrow too, I haven't decided because it's a store thing, you know, going to a store. Haven't decided. So I'm gonna hurry and go through this whole thing. Hey, Ash, can you go grab me a gallon size Ziploc bag? Can I go? Yes, we can. Well, Before you? No, I'll talk to you in a minute. Go get me a Ziploc bag. I have all these that I, I they all messed up right at the very end. Well, this one didn't. I just haven't finished this one, but some of the other ones kind of got messed up. If you remember, these are ornaments that I made. A long time ago so all of it just got messed up in here in my bucket found it found my seam ripper I knew I had one I'm almost done got all that well I, there's garbage over there too but I'm just working through organizing everything all right all done we don't need a tour of that it's just basic stuff but I'm gonna take that and start seam ripping that little look that little name on the bag all right so we just dropped Ashley off and um, it started to rain on us but we've been just chatting with um, her friends parents we're just we're becoming good friends with all the yeah, parents nice. it's fun um, but we got rained out talking and even the girls were like you can go home now <laughs> the kids don't want us to hang out um, but it is raining now I don't know if you can see the raindrops it's not projected to rain right now, so that's kind of crazy. Whoa, okay, look at we the found, rain out there. We found this, but oh, if you can hear the hum oh. on the roof here at Dick's. Um, and we're going to go out in there, but, and we can't see, we'll go up front, but it is torrential downpour. Yeah, that's crazy. Really soaked. Jason challenged me. He's like, "Why don't you be a modern woman and go get in the car for me?" And all the guys that are in the lobby of Dicks, like, "Yeah, why don't you be a modern woman?" And, <laughs> and I was like, "Fine." I had to walk slow because my shoes are slippery when when wet. I am so glad I went on my walk this morning because there's no going now. I, I, I don't know how to dry off to drive. Uh, <laughs> You're serious? <laughs> Go. Oh, this 
that splash. The car is driving by right in front There's of, it'll happen to us as soon as we go up. Why is this car not? Well, we're back at Dick's. Jason left his sunglasses on the shelf. But look, the sun is already like, <laughs> it's still raining, it's not as bad. But um, it's crazy. The sun is out, you can see it over here. It's just, oh, I guess there's blue skies. Oh, look at the rainbows, perfect. Can you see the rainbows right there? Cool. He's finding his birthday present now. Well, I don't know. These are that's probably, good. They're probably ridiculously expensive. No, but that's a really good, um, you know, mat for well, the no, kind of hiking that you do. Like this one. Yeah, but that's what you have, and it wasn't well, enough. This one's an air one. I think oh, it's good. Okay. All right, got the right strap at REI. The lady was like, yeah, I don't know how she messed up. These are totally different sizes and like the box and the other one is huge. So, and a price difference, um, big price difference between the two. So this is perfect for the, um, the speaker. And I actually kind of want one for my camera. It's actually the perfect little wristlet for my camera. I do have one on my we camera, but. All over this. We do need to get you a. Uh... I was soaking wet. And now it's like not raining at all. We called Chelsea and we asked if she was okay with the chicken at home. And, and she's like, why? And we're like, because it's a torrential downpour outside with thunder and lightning. And she's like, it's not raining here. <laughs> and it was just. She's like, I can hear the thunder and lightning. Like the other and I can side see it. Of the valley yeah, kind of she's thing. like, I can see it, but it's not raining here. Which is crazy. All right, that's it. We're going to go home. We're now that it's not raining, I want to watch the game. Unstitch her little name, put on my patches. Oh, that would be cool. We can yeah. stitch them on. Uh, I yeah. think I'm gonna watch Stranger Things. Oh, you're starting to watch that. I'm gonna wait for like the rain to come to start another series. So. Well, I'm just rewatching it because it's been so long, and yeah. the new one's gonna come out and true, whenever. So okay. All right, we are home, and we have wonderful spaghetti and garlic bread, thanks to our employee. They felt bad that their, Jason's too. wife doesn't cook, so her husband made us Nicely spaghetti. Well, you know, She's wonderful. Her husband yes. is a fabulous cook. They're both really good cooks. But her, he did our Christmas party. Yeah, they both did. Yeah, they both did, but he, he loves to cook, and he made all, like a huge amount, and he always has huge portions. Yeah, it's like homemade sauce. And so I don't know if they watch, but if they do, then thank you. But. Well, you'll think I'm at work, too. Oh, oh, yeah. But I've got my plate here. I have showered. And I am going to watch football and I'm gonna work on my coat patches. All right, we're fast forwarding now through time. Done with Seahawks game, moved on to Bachelor, Bachelorette. And here is my mess. <laughs> Pile of thread all over the couch and floor. But I am officially ready to put my patch on. Probably gonna do it tomorrow. But there is no more name on there. I was worried that it would kind of take off the the glitter on the fabric, but it didn't. I think my patch will go on there. Hopefully it sticks to this. If not, I'm going to have to sew them on. But that looks pretty good. And I think I have to get out the vacuum and clean up this mess. All right. Well, I am going to probably end my night with you guys. I have to either stay awake until 11 p.m. or set an alarm for 11 p.m. because that's when Ashley's going to come home from her late night. I think she's going to call me sooner. She's pretty tired when we dropped her off um, and she admitted, I might call you sooner. So anyway, I was going to, my eyes were kind of bugging me, so took my glasses off. Um, also, I think I need to go get a new prescription because I'm having a hard time like seeing up close and, <laughs> and even like the TV, like the words are blurry when I'm sitting back on the couch and anyway, I'm going to get... I find a new eye doctor and try and go get a new prescription or pay out of pocket and just go to Costco and get a new prescription. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. Kind of a crazy day. I had no idea it was going to rain like that or like at all today. Like it was not projected, but I also, I just didn't anticipate being up where we were. Maybe that's why I never saw it on the weather because it only rained there maybe further east but 
because it didn't rain at all here at home. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, it's been kind of a nice quiet evening. It's been nice to just sit and do this and, um, Ashley is at her friend's house. Chelsea just ate dinner with us. We had that spaghetti. She ate dinner with us and Abby just got home from work. So nice quiet day and, uh, tomorrow stay tuned because we have Abby's pre-op appointment for her surgery coming up. Um, the pre-op appointment is quite a few weeks ahead of time because we ended up rescheduling the surgery. Found out that I accidentally scheduled her surgery on homecoming weekend. <laughs> the initial time that I scheduled the surgery and she's like, um, that's homecoming weekend. <laughs> and so I had to reschedule it and they, it's further out. It's in October. So this is kind of preemptive pre-op appointment, but we, this is not new news to us. We know the surgical team. It won't be like, you know, scary to kind of go through or whatever. Jason might come. He's going to ask Abby if he wants, if she wants him to be there, but this isn't new and this is such an easier surgery. Um, but she does have to go through a couple different doctors and the anesthesiologist and the, things like that. Um, just as you know, that's just what you do. So it'll be a couple hours at the hospital tomorrow and follow along with us as you know, I, as she's comfortable, you know, you know how it is with her as she's comfortable with the camera. Um, but you also know that it'll end in Chick-fil-A, which I'm probably just going to get a frozen lemonade tomorrow. I'm doing really good on eating. I'm going to update you soon because I'm, I've gotten to a, and I think tomorrow, I think tom I've had milestones all week long with my health journey. Um, there's multiple milestones that I've hit, but I think tomorrow, I will hit the biggest milestone that I haven't ever hit before. So, um, but I'm not going to do that in tomorrow's video because I'll save that for another day, but just know that that probably is going to happen for me personally tomorrow. And I'll share it with you guys soon. Um, probably the next day if I'm going to be real, um, because it's kind of exciting. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next time. I think I'll let it be